And joining us now live to talk about the deadline for the Chicago Resiliency Fund is City Treasurer Melissa Conyers Irvin. So, Melissa, the deadline is tomorrow at 5, coming up quickly. What are the qualifications for this? And I am so happy that at a time such as this, Erica and Brad, and good evening, by the way, that we, the Catalyst Fund, and me being the treasurer, I am the chairman of the Catalyst Fund, that we can be the primary investor in the city small business resiliency fund. And by that, we are committed to investing up to $50 million of the $100 million resiliency fund. And these, this is truly designed for small businesses. Me being a young lady that is born in Inglewood, raised on on the west side. I truly know the importance of small businesses in our communities. And so I was happy to partner with Mayor Lifet on this and making certain that unlike the federal program that unfortunately a lot of small businesses were not able to tap into, this program through the city of Chicago is truly for small businesses, less than 50 employees with an annual revenue of less than $3 million. As you and I both know, that is truly the ma and pa shops of Chicago. And so we want them to apply. They have two avenues where they can apply. One is through my website, chicagocitytreasurer.com, or through the cityofchicago.org website. And there is a tab for the coronavirus and more information there. Yeah, Madam Treasurer, thanks for joining us. Uh, Chicago has long been dogged, of course, by, you know, it's an insider's game, the machine. You got to know someone. How are you ensuring equity in how these funds are going to be doled out? Perfect question. We are making certain, and, and, and there has been a great partnership between my office and the mayor's office in making certain that we are working with the financial institutions to make certain that there is equity with these program, with this program. And I'll tell you, just with the number of loans that we've already provided, 67% of the loans have been given to business with low to moderate income communities. And, and I'm glad that you asked that question because what I don't want is small businesses to hear about this program and be discouraged and think that it doesn't apply to them. It does. It applies to just them. And so we are making certain that there is a great amount of equity with businesses in low to moderate income communities, and as well as I'll, I'll mention already, I said the 67% low mm -hmm. to moderate income communities, but 41% of the loans that have been provided have been to African American and, and Hispanic business owners. Okay, thank you for that. And Melissa, just quickly here to wrap up, we know this is a loan, not a grant. We want to make that clear, but how many have you handed out so far and how many do you expect to give in the future? Well, just to say, you know, I mentioned that we're the primary investor with up to $50 million of $100 million program. Um, right now, we've already had 124 loans approved. And so that means that we have many more loans to give out. And so it's certainly not too late for those that want to apply that that can. And again, they have up until tomorrow at 5 p.m. And we want to make certain that everyone knows about this program. So please share. Now, one of the things that I, I want to mention is the low interest rate. Um, while this loan does have a an interest rate attached to it for the first six months is zero percent and then after six months it can be from one to two percent up to eight months. And so certainly there is an opportunity for a small business to use these funds at a very minimal interest rate up to 18 months. Certainly they can make the loan go further up to five years. Yes. But we want to make certain that small business owners know that we are not trying to price them out of business. Mm. We're trying to help them stay in business. All right. Well, City Treasurer Melissa Conyers Irving, thank you so much for joining us. Get those applications in. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Important information, and we have all of it at our website. Just head to cbschicago.com slash working for Chicago.